the sound of 21st century popular music has revolutionised reality documentary. But could a pop song, its music and lyrics played out as if on a record, revolutionise TV drama? Well, remarkably, yes. And it did so over 40 years ago. When Andy Mackay of art rock outfit Roxy Music was tasked with scoring with songs, a radical primetime series, it opened the doors to a whole new form of TV storytelling. Rock Follies followed the misadventures of a fictional girl group, the Little Ladies. But with musical sequences shot in a studio, far removed from the realism of 70s TV drama, stylistically it took its cue from the movies, most particularly that bastion of artifice, the Hollywood musical. Had music always been central to you in telling a story? Music was always important, but I hadn't really thought about television as a place to do a, a musical, yeah. and Rock Follies became the chance to do it. So Andy, having come out of the rock world, how did you find writing pastiche songs that could be from a load of other genres? I loved rock and roll, I loved soul, and it, there was a certain fashion for looking back at pre-war musicals in, in, the, in the mid-60s, you know, the kind of, so that Buzzy Berkeley films, there was a little bit of that sort of nostalgia thing, so I was kind of quite familiar with that. Busby Berkeley's Gold Diggers use stagecraft, choreography and song to make a social comment. Rock Follies borrowed its look wholesale, updating it for the feminist politics of the little ladies. Well, a lot of the songs in Follies don't move the narrative, but they deepen your understanding of character and situation. She rides in her bed in her sweltering in Greek Street. It's the skillful musical artifice of songs like Hot Neon that sugar-coated subjects prime-time drama had rarely tackled. Gay characters, feminism and sex. How out there was Rock Follies going out at 9 p.m. prime time on a major channel? I mean, we, we had a, an, an anti-royal song. Party for Her Majesty. What was going on was making me so angry, because one of the themes of both series, it was a background of economic deprivations, tensions in the society, and I felt the Jubilee was the perfect uh, way of looking at the escape from the reality of what was happening in the, in the society. It just seemed like we were capturing a certain kind of, uh, an aspect of life that maybe t even good television wasn't actually dealing with. But keep well away from my dreams. 10% are out of work. Rock Follies was MTV as imagined by ITV. A good times, bad times musical melodrama that foreshadowed the arrival of the age of the pop video. Films become cult classics, revealing more of...